this is the part three of making a hyper casual dunkit like game inside of unity and in this one we are going to add the bus kits and work on the score system so without any further ado let's get started in the last one we work on the ball movements and in this one we are going to add the bus kits so i already have the bus kit sprite here let's drag and drop inside of the hierarchy it looks a bit big so let's decrease the size from the import settings uh, let's put in 300 hit apply See how it looks and it looks pretty much the right size so let's try to position it correctly to the left uh, and it looks good but we also need to add the holder here and for that i'm gonna create an empty game object that holds all of our basket i will just call it basket and reset the position and let's add our hoop inside of the basket and also change the position reset them both to zero and and now let's add the holder here i'm gonna use this square sprite and let's shape it all right scale it up a bit drag it down i think it looks good so let's also, let's also rename this to holder and reposition it to the left see how it looks and it looks good so now that we have worked on the basket we also need to add the colliders now and firstly let's add some colliders to the holder box collider 2d and we also need to add a tiny bit of collider on the tip of our basket for that i'm going to create another empty game object and let's add a circle collider 2d to this let's open it up see how it looks it is pretty huge so let's scale it down a bit position it correctly somewhere around here looks good so now our ball won't be able to get from the outside it would only be able to get from the from the top of the basket all right and now in order to see if the ball has actually entered the basket we also need a trigger so let's create an empty game object call it trigger let's add box collider 2d scale it down to a size of a line place it somewhere around here so we can actually see if the ball has entered all right and we also need to give it a unique identity using a tag so let's create a new tag we'll call this one inside let's save it and don't forget to assign the tag and now that we have done it we can actually start working on the score system and for that I'm going to, going to create a new script and assign it to our ball. I'm going to call it ball script. Let's hit create an add. All right, and let's find our script. Here it is. Let's drag and drop this inside of the scripts folder. Let's open it up. And now the first thing we need to do is remove both the using tags and let's also remove both the start and the update method we'll start fresh and the first thing that we need to do is call the on trigger exit 2d method and we are going to check if the ball has actually collided with something that has inside trigger which would be of course our trigger and if it has then we will simply call the score method for now let's just call a simple debug.log statement saying that we have scored all right and that's pretty much all we need to do so let's save it and head back inside of unity and now make sure that the trigger is set to is trigger let's try this out so the ball went through the basket and let's give it another go and it went through it but it came out so it shouldn't be a score but let's see all right so we have actually scored twice let's see what the console has to say so it says that we have scored but if we check the number of time we have scored it says four times which is completely wrong so this is not the right score system that we are going to work with we need to we need to make it more robust so and for that we are going to need multiple triggers let me show you how so this is our basket right here and we need to create three, three three different triggers and so when the ball gets gets through the basket 
each of these trigger will get activated. So for instance, if the ball is about to enter the basket, this trigger would tell us that the ball has entered. And the same goes for the inside trigger. So when the ball is actually inside the basket, and if both of both of these triggers are active and the ball is about to exit the basket the exit trigger would also get active we can say that the ball that the player has actually scored all right so that's what we are going to do and in order to do that we need to add some more triggers so let's create an empty game object here we'll call this one triggers and let's make our trigger a child of it we will also rename this to inside trigger and duplicate this to create two more. Let's call this one the out trigger. Place it at the bottom of the basket. Somewhere on here looks good. And we also need one more. Drag this all the way up. Somewhere on here. Alright, so now that we have all our triggers. Uh, let's go ahead and change their height let's decrease it so the ball has enough space between the three triggers and it crosses through the basket and let's also rename this to enter trigger and we also need to give them their unique identity using different tags so let's go ahead and create a tag for each of our triggers create tag and the first one would be exit and the second one would be enter and let's assign these tags to the correct triggers and now once you have done that we go back to the ball script and here we need to create three different booleans for each of the trigger state and two more for when the ball is actually inside and at the bottom so so when the ball is about to leave the ball skin all right so now once we have created all the booleans we also need to change this tag here we will replace it with exit we will so we will check if the ball has actually exited the basket and in that case we will check if the other two states are actually true as well so at top is equal to true and inside is also equal to true and in that case if the ball exits we will know that it has correctly passed through the basket and then we can simply uh, call some score method and also let's disable both the at top and at bottom all right and let's just call some debug.log statement as before and we also need to call another method which will be the on trigger 2d method and in this one we are going to check if if the ball has actually collided with the inside trigger and in that case we will set the inside trigger to true and we will do the same for when the ball is about to enter the basket and we will set the at top is equal to true as well all right and another thing that we can do here is create a score variable so let's create a public score integer we will default this to zero and now when the ball gets through the basket we will increase the score by one all right so that's all we need to do let's save it and try it out let's hit play try to enter the basket and a score is equal to zero of course it should be one but we will figure that out later all right and let's try one more time let's also try to score from the bottom let's see if it works and it doesn't so yeah everything is working just fine we cannot we can only score from the top and not from the bottom which is all we wanted to do so this score system is working and now the next thing that we have to do is add another basket so that we can actually play the game and for that to work we would also need to create a game manager to figure out all the basket positions and the ball movement and everything and that we will do in the next video